All right, now the One UI 8.0 is here and we have been using the stable version of One UI 8.0 on the Galaxy S25 series and the rest of the Galaxy phones will also get it very, very soon. Now, the one question that you guys have been asking me is how is the battery performance? What is the battery test results on One UI 8.0 on the Galaxy S25 series? So in today's video, I will discuss exactly that. I got this Galaxy S25 Ultra over here and I have tested the battery performance on this device. So let's dive right into the video and check out how has been the battery performance what is the battery test results now let me tell you the settings in which i have tested the device let's go to the settings here uh, i had set the display to qhd here as you can see the screen resolution was set to qhd and the screen mode was vivid and if you go to the advanced settings you can see the vividness was minimum i did not increase it to this midpoint or the maximum it was a uh, minimum now let me just go to the device care here and uh, let me show you the performance profile you can see it was set to standard not light and the always on display was set to tap to show as you can see here the always on display is on and i had set it to uh, tap to show option and the phone was tested in dark mode and most of the time it was on wi-fi and uh, about a few hours maybe around uh, three to four hours it was on cellular network now with these settings let's see what was the screen on time that i have got on the galaxy s25 ultra let's go to the gallery i have taken the screenshot over here as you can see this is the entire screenshot of the usage the screen on time that I received is 7 hours 29 minutes. And the screen off time, you can see 20 hours 13 minutes. I charged somewhere around 11, 11.30 in the morning uh, yesterday. And I was able to uh, consume around 40% of the battery till here, 40, 45%. And then overnight, I did not use the phone for about, almost about seven hours. It was idle. And during this idle time, it consumed about uh, 4%, if I'm not wrong, somewhere around 4%. And then I started using the phone today morning uh, and I started playing some games and used the phone a little heavily uh, during uh, the second day. Now, as you can see, it depleted completely over here and uh, you can see the usage pattern here. The YouTube was used for about two hours. Battlegrounds India, which is PUBG, 46 minutes. Instagram, eight minutes. Prime Video, one hour. YouTube Music, in fact, YouTube Music, I used it in the gym uh, almost for about one hour. It was playing in the background. So the screen on time is very less over here. And then we've got camera, which is used for almost about 17 minutes. I did uh, record some videos in 4K, uh, 30 FPS. Uh, for almost about uh, 15 minutes and a couple of minutes of photo uh, the shooting. So that's the camera. Then we have got X, uh, Google Play services, which runs in the background. And then we have got Volvo's application. And you can notice here the maps was used for about 58 minutes uh, on screen. So when I was uh, driving, uh, I used the maps for almost about one hour, which is going to consume good amount of battery. And uh, then you can see Real Racing 3 also I played for about 20 minutes. So almost about one hour of gaming I have done on the phone during this test. Uh, then we have got a few other applications over here as you can see chess clock when i was playing with my wife uh, i did turn on the chess clock for almost about uh, 15 20 minutes uh, it's showing yeah almost about uh, 19 minutes and then we have WhatsApp, Facebook, Gallery, Clock, and some system applications. So I have used uh, many applications during this test. You can see nearby device scanning agent is also running. Uh, quick share connectivity, many of the applications were running in the background. So many applications were used, almost about uh, two to two and a half hours of media consumption, uh, plus almost about one hour of gaming, more than one hour, I would say, and then almost about uh, 15 to 20 minutes of uh, video recording during this test, which is more than a uh, moderate usage I would say it's almost uh, heavy usage but not too heavy usage slightly more than moderate usage uh, during this test and with this I have got uh, 7 hours 30 minutes of screen on time which is pretty good I would say remember this was with QHD display standard performance profile with uh, always on display tap to show with this one and a half days of usage is pretty decent now the question is how was this battery performance results compared to the One UI 7 now I would say it's almost exactly the same. It did not improve drastically as such. Some of you may be able to see some improvements there. It all depends on the usage. Now, when I say seven and a half hours of screen on time, remember it's with almost about two plus hours of media consumption. Now, if you don't consume the media, if the phone is idle for a longer period of time, and if you use the phone for heavy gaming or let's say uh, heavy uh, applications, then the consumption will be much more and the screen on time that you're gonna get will be much lesser. 
product. So uh, for an average user, for a moderate user, I would say it will be somewhere around six to seven hours of screen on time if you use it. Now, if you consume too much of media, like let's say if you watch YouTube, uh, Prime Video or Netflix for more than three or four hours, then obviously that video will run on 60 Hertz. The battery consumption will be much lesser and the battery, uh, the screen on time that you're gonna see will cross eight hours. Now, the people who claim uh, more than eight or nine hours of screen on time are the ones who consume a lot of media and a lot of social media applications. They keep scrolling for hours together and watch videos for us together then obviously your screen on time is going to be more than eight hours but for a normal user if you're someone who don't consume so much of media and uh, if you use the phone very normally then the screen on time will definitely go down because there'll be a lot of idle uh, idle time so that's how we measure it so there is no specific measure for this somebody may get about five to six hours of screen on time on the same one ui 8 version someone could get more than eight hours of screen on time depending on what they are consuming so be wary of that now, based on this specific usage on my phone, which I just discussed, I have got about seven and a half hours of screen on time, which is pretty decent. Not a drastic improvement from One UI 7, but it's still pretty good. Now, this is something which I want to share with you guys in today's video. Let me know how is the battery performance on your Galaxy phone. Uh, I'm sure uh, there are many S25 series users on the channel. You guys can share your battery performance results, the screen on time results uh, in the comment section. That will definitely help the community. Uh, the S24 series is going to get the one UI 8.0 stable version probably in a day or two here in India and then the rest of the countries will also be getting it uh, in, in a couple of days from now so as soon as we get that I will be uh, posting a video on uh, that you know very very soon so stay tuned for that right now actually I'm recording this video uh, from S24 Ultra let me know about the uh, video clarity as well in the comment section that's all I wanted to share with you guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet go ahead hit the subscribe button and hit that like button as well that would motivate me to keep coming up with more content for you guys and uh, don't forget to download our wallpaper application volvers the link is in the description that's about it thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye